This morning, we continue tracking the tropics as Maria moves up the coast. Mandatory evacuation started yesterday for all visitors on Ocracoke and Hatteras Islands. Now the Hatteras and Ocracoke ferries are no longer running, and today all Dare County schools are closed. Lex Gray joins us this morning from the Outer Banks. Lex, of course, you saw the conditions there yesterday, so how have they changed? Well, I'm kind of keeping half an eye on the ocean behind me because you can see where the foam is right here and how how the far the waves are breaking. Well, they just suddenly swooped way up to where this foam is and I had to quickly run up the beach. So that's why I'm kind of keeping uh, half my body turned towards the ocean just so that I can watch that very angry sea that you can see behind me. Uh, now we did. We had another crew here yesterday during the afternoon. They drove up and down NC 12 just to see what business owners were doing, how people were preparing. We talked to the owner of the Outer Banks Fishing Pier. He said not only was he closing early, going out to buy plywood, he thought he probably wouldn't be open today. And he was very worried about the condition of, of his pier and how it would hold up against surf like this. We're going to have 12-foot seas pounding on the end, pounding on all these pilings. And these are old piers, and you don't know if there's a weak spot or not. And of course, if he does decide to close today, he won't be the only one. Dare County schools are closed. I talked to NCDO, NCDOT operators earlier this morning, and they told me that there are no longer ferries running between Hatteras and Ocracoke Island. So we'll be here all day long checking in uh, with different businesses and organizations, and we'll bring you updates on any more closings or cancellations as we get them. For now, live in Dare County, I'm Lex Gray, 10 on your side. This morning, Hampton Roads is bracing for high winds and dangerous surf from Hurricane Maria. In Virginia Beach, strong winds are expected to pick up today as the storm churns off the coast. City officials have posted warnings at the oceanfront about the conditions. And that is where we find 10 on your side's Rico Bush. He is checking out the storm's effects at the beach. Rico, how's it changed since 4.30 this morning? Any difference behind you? Uh, well, Katie, uh, Don, those winds are still pretty strong. They have been consistent all morning long. But before we get to some more conditions here, I want to tell you uh, something about that swimmer in distress we told you about 30 minutes ago. Well, I just got off the phone with Virginia, Peace, uh, Virginia Beach Police Dispatch, and they tell me uh, that that swimmer was able to get out of the water by themselves. Uh, but ambulances were called here to the scene, and that goes to show you how dangerous these waters are here uh, at the beach. Behind me, I want to show you exactly these rough ways where you can see how choppy they are and how rough they are. And that is why officials don't want anyone to get into the water here. This morning, red flags are still flying high to warn people about the risk of those rip currents. Since Saturday, lifeguards have made about 30 rescues. The big advice from lifeguards is to just stay out of the water the next few days, especially for beginner swimmers. Many people we talk to say they are fine with just soaking in the beauty from the shore and not getting in the water at all. Take a listen here. I'm going to check out the surf and see what it's doing. Oh, we, we like to walk, so we'll just walk and do what we can do. Uh, now, even after Labor Day and two hurricanes near Hampton Roads, hotels say they're still at about 75 to 80 percent capacity, which means there are still a lot of visitors who are not phased by these storms. Forecasters say Maria's effects should be gone by midweek, which is just in time to enjoy this weekend's Neptune Festival. Now, back out here live earlier this morning, we kind of told you that the trash cans were gone on the beach. Well, now you can see them here. It appears they have put these trash cans back on the beach, uh, but they have tied them down to make sure they don't blow away or hurt anyone who uh, is uh, walking on the beach or enjoying themselves here at the beach. Now, city officials say they have made some minor preparations here at the ocean front uh, in case that storm moves closer to the shore here. And I'll tell you exactly what they are do what they're doing. That is coming up in just 30 minutes. That's the latest here from Virginia Beach. I'm Rico Bush. Ten on your side. All right, Rico, thank you. Now, as we keep a close eye on Maria, you can watch the storm's path, too. Just check out our interactive hurricane tracker. It's on wavy.com under the weather tab.